Hi, I'm Craig. And I'm Donna. Welcome to Dorothy. We thought we would have some fun today and show you um, the inside and out of Dorothy and why we chose Airstream and why we love this unit. And we started out by loving the Airstream because friends of ours have an Airstream. And when we walked into their Airstream and saw the beautiful big windows, we were hooked. This is an RV that's built for RV trips like we take, which is a long trip that may be a weekend, it may be a week, it could be a month or a month and a half, and there might be six, seven, twelve different stops. So the ability to pack, set up, move, tow well are all really important. These are two... I think they're 40 gallon. 40 gallon each. 40 pound. And this is what keeps our refrigerator and freezer going when we're boondocking or whatever. Traveling. And our stovetop and oven. And I would be lost without my stovetop and oven. This is uh, motorized, so I don't have to hand crank anything. I can hitch and unhitch, connect our anti-sway bars, level the unit um, without too much effort. We're really talking about pushing a, a button uh, to go up and down. And these doors kind of had that feel of like an airplane door. So it closes and it is solid. The awnings we found to be super easy. They're made by Zip D and they are completely motorized. So in the awning on the patio side, um, simply latches and extends. I won't extend it all the way here because we're up against another unit, but it really is that simple. So another thing that's really nice about the Classic is that um, the stabilizers are motorized. Two, uh, two switches, one for the front, one for the back. This is the biggest external storage and it is multi-level. So if we take a look inside, I store most of the things I need here for hookup, for leveling. Um, this actually is under the bed in the rear of the unit. And then underneath this section here, whether you can see it or not, I store our 50 amp cord, hoses, um, cable and it's very very deep and then the back bumper also has storage and we use that for our stinky slinky and accessories that are uh, sewer related because why put them inside anywhere correct grossness right your sewer black hose connection gray hose connection for exiting is here this is your tank for black water this is your tank for gray your stinky slinky hooks up here and we've got a release valve for the black tank, a release valve for the gray tank. These simply pull and you can drain. Very easy. And then for fresh water, this is your city water or fresh water intake. And then you've got um, other than the tank when you're at an RV site. And then this is a shower head, a cleaner. So I can hook up a secondary line and the Airstream actually has something that allows me to clean out or purge the black tank. So I can fill it up, turn the shower head on, drain it with, uh, with my black tank and help keep it clean. You have access to the back of your refrigerator. As Donna had mentioned, um, this runs on electric or propane. <laughs> um, 50 amp service, so we're connected here. This is your cable or satellite input. And then an external shower. So right here we've got the ability to um, hot and cold running water on a shower head. So now let's go inside and see why we love Dorothy so much. Okay, so one of the things that is also unique about the classic is this sofa. All it took was for us to sit in the sofa and push this magic button. We are home theater people and this truly made us feel right at home. We looked at each other and said, yep, this is the one. Really comfortable, nice memory foam, nice faux leather. So now I get to show you our awesome kitchen and what Airstream does such a good job of is making it feel like you're living in your home. You know, we had showed you earlier, the cabinets are solid wood, they're very deep. They hold all our goodies in here. I love what you did with 
this little accessory? So, and you always, I, ha I have something that you can dry your dishes on. But this is so much more convenient if you want to rinse out a cup or some silverware. This you can get on Amazon. It's like 15 bucks. But I use it a lot. Another great thing Airstream thought of for extra space is this flip-up uh, countertop extender. A little bit extra space and then tucks away when I'm not using it. Below that is the thing that nobody knows what to do with. People the magazine say, holder. It's a magazine rack. Who reads a magazine? So we decided to use it as our laptop holder. To the left is another one of those switches, the multiplex switches Donna talked about. So more access to lighting, especially things that are outdoor related. So the awning is controlled from there, patio lighting, the grab handle, um, and some of the internal lighting features. Under here, under the sink, got a lot of great storage for my trash can, silverware, the, um, kitchen utility, spoons and knives and spatulas, plastic bags. This is our convection microwave. I love having a microwave. I don't necessarily use the convection part because we're lucky enough to have an oven and I use it a lot. I really do use it a lot. And that's propane based. Right, this is propane. Also the stove top is propane. This, I, this is probably the most favorite part of my kitchen. There is a fan and a light. And that port's externally. Another place to plug in things like our coffee maker. More storage down here. This is where I keep pots and pans and knives. Under here, we keep like cleaning products and whatnot. Again, Airstream just using every inch of space they can for interior storage. I'm going to show you some more storage. I keep um, our vacuum cleaner down here, dog leads. It's actually very deep. So up here is a really spacious tabletop that is motorized. You can get to it from here. Okay. It's going down. These come off. Another plug. These will both come off and then you add your cushions. We have a built-in TV. It's a Samsung and it is built on a swivel. They have included a Polk audio system we talked about before with speakers in all four corners. That is connected to the TV. So although not surround sound, it does fill the RV it with sound. It really the TV. makes a great sound from your TV. Yeah. It does a great job. So while Donna's doing this, let's talk a little bit about the Aldi system. This is an alternate way and my favorite way of heating, and it gives us two things, hot water, and it also gives you baseboard heating. And the advantage of baseboard heating are twofold. One is that it is radiant, so it doesn't have a loud fan. It doesn't force a lot of air into the RV, and that gives you the ability to get really gentle, soothing heat without cold spots. Um, we do have heat pumps when we're hooked up. If I were to need to heat this place quickly, the heat pumps would be much faster. My preference is always the Aldi system for baseboard heating and of course the hot water, which seems to last a good long time. More storage. More storage. This is the Blu-ray player. Blu-ray player. Also hooked up to both televisions along with the digital antenna and uh, the ability to switch over to cable fed from the RV resort. And more storage. So craigandonna.com is a website. If you can't find this on YouTube, which is also under Craig and Donna, go to craigandonna.com and the videos and other things are on that site. Correct. Um, so this is the freezer and refrigerator by Dometic. Plenty of room. I mean, we've gone a month stays cold on propane or electric. You can see how much space is in here. Another drawer down here for storage. 
This is our tool drawer. This I love because it's a pantry. Well, and disappears into and nothing. Disappears. Up here is my little spice rack. It's adorbs. Keeps everything in its place. And then this is our wardrobe, which again, so much space for us. You have all your clothes hanging space, plus down here. Oh, down here are control panels for your fuses. Really easy to get into, and they snap. They snap right shut. So another thing that we love so much about this uh, classic is that we have a shower and a toilet sink area separate from each other. So. It's really a spacious shower. We found this beautiful teak floor that um, Airstream sells. It really makes it feel a lot warmer and cozier in there. There's plenty of room in here to shower. And I have a little seat. So we can separate the bathroom area from the front of the unit. And this huge bathroom in here for, I mean, I can be drying my hair, brushing my teeth. Really nice cabinet storage back in here. Laundry basket. How nice and convenient that came in handy. Storage. Storage with cabinet. shelves from it. And a pretty big sink and right. a beautiful window. On the back as part of the Aldi system is a towel heater. So. <laughs> Super comfy, but watch. The classics come with an adjustable bed and it is so comfy have your coffee watch your TV just sit up and have a really nice comfy morning on either side of our bed we both have a drawer here's a pretty big drawer in the front here yeah, as we've said before, there's no shortage of um, storage in the Airstream. We have these two huge cabinets above our beds. Same configuration. Again, we like to use the soft, the soft bins because the curvature of the back and everything just fits in there really well. We have, each have an end table with a drawer and a cabinet underneath. So that's the tour. What do that's you think? That's the tour. I think if you have questions, please email us or leave comments in the YouTube video. We'll be happy um, to talk more about or answer any in-depth questions that you might have. Don't forget to subscribe. And push that like button and the notification button. That would be awesome. Um, but that's it for now. So for now, I'm Craig. I'm Donna. Thank you for sharing Dorothy with us. <laughs> and we look forward to sharing more with you soon.